start a studio vlog on but I've been so busy this week that I've literally forgot to film. I've just been making um, loads of stickers, logo stickers, um, kind of all the same kind of thing so it would have been a bit boring for me to film all that but it's done and um, I'm just, I just want to show you what I've been making this week. So I made these new postcards. I think I'm gonna put them in with every single order as like a little thank you so that people can get a free piece of artwork and then it also has my details on the back and it can be used as a real postcard that is a cauldron, um, cute rainbow which is my favourite, a crystal ball and some crystals. So yeah I thought it'd be quite nice to put them in with every single order with a little thank you, a little surprise. Then I was working on a custom wedding invitation sample. These are royal blue with silver foil and silver glitter backing card. And then my client also requested a football t-shirt design as a table number. So I'll be sending these off today and see what she thinks. And then another client of mine, I've been making custom castle place names. This is based on Castle Koch which means Red Castle in Welsh. Actually, if it was fully Welsh, it'd be Castell Coch, which means Red Castle. But yeah, so I've been making 111 of these in total, and they are all ready to be sent off as well. And that's the most interesting bits I've been doing. The rest is just logo stickers. I've been printing out more Orlando planning stickers. Last night, I went to a networking event, which um, sounds scary, but it was really nice. It was really lovely. A relaxed laid-back atmosphere it was hosted by my friend little birdie events and they run in small business networking events around Cardiff um, and the South Wales area and um, I really recommend you look them up on Instagram yeah check them out it was really nice it was really lovely to get to know some other small businesses because as I'm freelance myself I don't really know many people that run their own business I don't know whether that's just me living under a rock, but so it's nice to talk to people that kind of know similar things that you're going through or can help you out, even though their businesses might be completely different. It's just nice to speak to people who have a bit of a similar background. What else have I got to say? Today we will be puppy sitting. I'm so excited. Callum's sister is going away for the weekend and we are going to be puppy sitting her dog. He's a golden retriever and he's coming over soon and I really don't think I'm going to get much work done. I'll show you when he comes over. my favorite prints that I just got to print out. I really love how the colors come out on these. They're so bright. So these are actually A3 size. There's my hand for comparison of the size. I usually print them smaller. So these two are usually A4, this one and this one, and that one's usually A5. But my customer has requested them to be made larger. So those two are A3 and that one is A4. I don't make enough in this style but I really want to and I love how these look li like they're stitched it's so cute I think they're perfect for nurseries or children's bedrooms but yeah I'm glad I got to print some today look who's here Dexter hey, little baby we got absolutely no work done today <laughs> but it's okay because you're handsome a current situation <gasps> Cutie pie. Thank you. 
in over a week because I just haven't had anything interesting to show you guys but um, today I spent the morning making my Q&A video which you would have already seen by now and um, I'm just gonna do some admin and see what's in store for the rest of the week. popular so I ordered more of the blue than any other colour. Oh, looks lush. I think I actually asked for the blue to be blue and silver and not blue and gold so I'll have to double check that on my order. Blue and gold looks nice though I guess but I think I prefer blue to be blue and silver rather than blue and gold. I think I ordered pink and gold, blue and silver, and the purple was purple and gold. But I will double check. It might be my mistake, it might be theirs, I'm not sure, but I think that's what I ordered. And then here's the purple. Yeah, I'm really pleased with how they turned out. I'll have to take some pictures after I figure out if these were meant to be silver or not and release them in my shop when they're ready. So I'm just checking everything and I actually ordered the purple and the blue in polished nickel and not gold but they've all arrived in gold. I mean, the gold doesn't, doesn't look bad, but I would like to have them in the silver, well, polished nickel that I ordered, just because I think it works better with these type of colours. So I've just emailed them now and I'm waiting for a reply. Hopefully they can send me the correct versions um, because I just, I didn't get what I ordered. So I'm sure they'll be fine and correct it for me, but we'll see. I've never had any problems using this manufacturer in the past, so I'm sure they'll be um, more than happy to correct this for me. So I'll keep you updated. So I've spoken to my manufacturer and they apologized for the mistake. Um, it was actually the purple that I ordered in nickel and the blue that I ordered in nickel, but I've had everything in gold. It still looks, they're still amazing quality, they're just the wrong colours, so they're going to send out um, a batch of the nickel ones. And I think in the meantime I'm going to take some pictures of these and pop them in my shop ready. <laughs>
printed these test backing cards for my new pins. The colours look a little different to what they look like on screen, so I'm just going to have a play around and see if I can make them a bit brighter. Uh, so these look much better after enhancing the colours just a little bit on the screen. They're so much brighter. these turned out actually. Um, I think they're a little bit smaller than my original pin backing cards so I think I might make them a tiny bit bigger but I'll use the ones that I've printed for now and then make them bigger in the future. Look who I have in the studio with me today. This is Molly. She's nine and I'm babysitting her today. <laughs> She's been helping me out. Well, and now she's sleeping on the job. So I think I'm also going to be getting these made again, but I think, oops, this time I wanna make the gray a bit darker because, I don't know, I just think it needs to be a bit darker. Excuse my nails. One day I will have nice nails for my videos. Today is not that day. <laughs> but the studio have sent me these visuals, all with slightly different gray tones. They look so similar and I can't choose. I think, I think that's the darkest one. And then there's that one and then that one. I'm thinking either the darkest one or that one. Because I don't think that one is much darker than what I already have. It's hard to tell. But yeah, I think it'll look better when it's a bit darker. Also, as a filming, I only have one more of these left. Um, I do have a few in my second sale still, but only one of these left in gold. I have quite a few in nickel, but only one in gold. three weeks. Although you would have seen two seconds ago, it was as if I filmed yesterday. It's actually been a huge three week gap since I last filmed anything in my studio. And a lot has happened, I guess, like personally with my life. So that's why I haven't been filming so much. Um, I even went on holiday and I didn't tell, well, I did tell you on my social media and Etsy, but I know I didn't mention anything in my video in this video. So yes, I just come back from France and it was a much needed, lovely break. I didn't realize how much I needed it till I was there. And it was amazing. And I'm back and just about to get to work. I'm not looking forward to the number of emails I might have. This is the first holiday I've ever gone on where I haven't checked my Etsy or my emails once. I turned off all notifications before I left and I left it that way for the entire holiday. So I'm a bit scared now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna start the morning doing a bit of admin, uh, catching up on emails and seeing what orders there are to um, process today. And I'll take it from there. Mm -hmm. 
just made my way through 2,000 emails and 32 Etsy messages and a few orders and yes it's taken a few hours um, but now I'm gonna start on the orders so got a few stickers to make a few pins to pack some greeting cards and um, yes hopefully it'll be a smooth day show you some bits that I've picked up over the last month or so and bits that, I, that have been sent to me um yeah by small businesses and businesses that I personally like so the first are these earrings from Baked by Lou I'm actually wearing a pair as well I was looking everywhere for hand cooked um earrings like in this exact style and I found them she is from Cardiff and her Etsy shop is bigtbylou.etsy.com. Can you see? And she makes loads of limited edition um, jewelry and really, really pretty things. So I'm glad I found that shop. And then I've also had some stickers sent to me by the little Raphael, and they're so adorable. Look how cute they are. I love, love, love these ones. And then these camping and holiday ones remind me of France. Look, oh, I want to go back so bad. Netflix looking ones. Oh, small business ones as well. And her shop is the little Raphael at Etsy.com. So yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here and hopefully start filming the next one. I've been really bad at filming this month, I know, so I'm um, hoping to be a bit more on top of it next month. This month, next month, it's almost September, so um, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.